Farming is really hard. <laughs> it takes a lot of time, a lot of work. With wildfires, now the drought, it's becoming even harder. Farmers need our support to make sure that we continue to be able to have a local food supply. I had a mother that was an avid gardener, so we always had a garden in the background. I just got really interested and was really fortunate to experience how some of the food that I eat came from a plant. I feel really fortunate to combine my background in food systems, environmental studies, and public policy to support the farmers and ranchers in San Mateo County. Pie Ranch is an educational farm. We've been here for about 15 years. We're standing in our strawberries next to our cane berries. We leverage the lure of pie to encourage people from our surrounding urban areas, particularly youth, to come um, be interested in learning about agriculture. Working with Audrea and the Resource Conservation District has been incredibly helpful, just having a thought partner and thinking about kinds of plants that we would like to put in the ground and how we're gonna be able to afford to do that. The San Mateo Resource Conservation District was the first resource conservation district in California. We've been around since 1939, and we're one of 95 RCDs in California. RCDs were started as soil conservation districts in a response to the Dust Bowl. In San Mateo County, we have five program areas, ag and climate, water, habitat, especially focused on protected species, and forest health and fire resiliency. Between site visits or having office days or attending meetings or workshops, I think that keeps it really exciting. That's part of why I love this job so much. I don't consider myself an expert in anything, really. I've learned everything I have from the experts who are managing their land and stewarding their land. I feel more like a coordinator in that I am taking what they tell me and share about their current management strategies, things that they're interested in, trying things they've heard from a neighbor, and try and connect them with resources. I retain a lot of that information. That's one of my skills. I have an elephant brain, and I can bring that to the producers that I work with. Andre's just been a wonderful thought partner, colleague in the effort to do right by nature and how we think about organizing the farm. She's easy to connect with, great ideas, and follows through on providing what she commits to, whether it's support on a grant application or coming up with a plant list. The work that we're doing with Audrea is creating habitat that is benefiting the above ground flora and fauna that creates a healthy ecosystem. Soil is a very important natural resource. It's formed over millennia. Our topsoil, that important natural resource that supports life on Earth, has been compromised. We focus on restoration of soils that have degraded in quality over time. Carbon farming practices are not new. They've been part of agricultural landscapes and management strategies for a really long time, but the innovation is this ability now using programs that have incorporated the best available science to develop a platform to assess carbon sequestration potential. We know that adding organic matter to soil, which is carbon, enhances the soil's ability to store water. There's the climate change aspect, but also the resilience to the economic changes that we've had and how to support growers so their operations stay viable. In San Mateo County, we partnered with the Office of Sustainability and Carbon Cycle Institute to incorporate the carbon sequestration potential of these conservation practices into the county's revised climate action plan. We have farmers who are interested and willing to implement these conservation practices that in addition to sequestering carbon have all of these ecological benefits and they would do it if they had funding. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to get those resources, whether it's providing feedback on a state grant or working to help farmers apply or connecting them to the NRCS and trying to navigate that. It's frustrating to have producers who are willing, they just can't afford it. I think because farming is a business, there's this hesitancy to provide support to them. A lot of these farms and ranches are providing critical habitat for wildlife. They're helping watershed 
function. They are protecting open space. They're providing food for our community. So that makes agriculture now part of the climate solution instead of just an emitter, which is what they've been known for.